If you watch golf on TV, I bet you've seen Justin Rose do this drill. He sets up, goes back, and does this thing. Now why does he do that? The reason is the arm swing is greatly misunderstood by most golfers because the arms swing up and they need to come down. You have to use your arms in the golf swing. Most amateur golfers use their arms too little and they think they're using too much. I'm going to show you why and I'm going to show you what to do about it. If you swing back to the top and if I would only use my body and rotate, you see what happens. My hands come out my club becomes steep and this is what we see in the DeWiz data. The higher the handicap, the more the hands come out, the more the shaft steepens, the more you cut across it and hit it steeply. You do not want that. Do what Justin Rose does. He swings back to the top and he works his arm drop. Look at my body, it doesn't rotate. I go back to the top and I drop my arms. Now, from here, I can rotate hard through the golf ball and the club and the arms will stay synced to my upper body from this angle. Back to the top, arm drop, and then through the ball in great sync. This is why Justin Rose does that drill. Let me show you why now. Rotation is hugely important, but rotation without arms is crap. So. If I would only rotate my body, this would be my backswing. It's not a very long backswing, it's not a very good backswing. Let me show you from here. Only body rotation. That's a great body. Back to the target, hips and legs loaded, but I can't play golf from here. So what I miss? I miss the arm lift. This is the arm lift. The arm lift is greatly important in the golf swing. And when there is an arm lift, there needs to be an arm drop to get back into position. And this is what most of the higher mid to high handicappers miss because again, they go back, they rotate and boom, throws everything out. You don't see the professionals do that. And our data is clear. Professionals do two things. If their arms move outwards, their club shallows. If their arms and hands move downwards, their club steepens. Everything to get into position. So the Justin Rose drill is great for you to get your club and arms into position to strike the golf ball with a nice shallow angle of attack, a neutral path and a good solid impact. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to first throw away the golf club. Only focus on what your arms and hands are doing. You take it back to the top. Let it drop. Lift again. Let it drop. Now my body isn't moving. It's only arms. You see? Only arms. Up, down. Up, down. And then go through. And when you go through, you will feel the connection between arms and body. So I go, go up, drop. Up, drop and through and that's the connection you want from here everything goes together now i'll take my club i hit the shot and we're looking for an iddx for me at around 10. 10 degrees let's see what happens i'm gonna i'm gonna work my my justin rose drill let the arms go down arms dropping okay good got that I was an IDDX of 11, which means I was slightly, slightly coming outwards. That's a good number. We're looking at 5 to 15. That's a nice, good number. There's our players are outside of that, but most of them are within the 5 to 15 range. So work the Justin Rose drill to learn how to use your arms properly in the golf swing. Good luck.